Thank you. In this animated film produced by DreamWorks, humans are invaded by monsters. The main character in the movie is the teenager with the green eyes. The eyes may be green, but the reason the humans are feeling blue is because humans blame the monsters. But the monsters are only invading their land because they're fleeing a bigger foe. The humans and the monsters keep their distance from one another, but their worlds collide after the human catches a monster with a trap. I remember learning a lot from the show called Reading Rainbow when I was a kid, but the most important thing that I learned was to never judge a book by its cover. The creatures may seem menacing on the outside, but on the inside, the human learns that they're not so bad because they become friends. The friendship is natural for one of the characters because he's always been an outcast and none of his own people ever want to socialize with him. In addition, the kid's mother was abducted by the creatures and she was the only person who truly understood the child. So with loneliness as the only other alternative, friendship is an easy choice. One of the members of the new duo is an engineer and is great at making high-tech futuristic equipment. One of the technological advances that he creates is a flying vehicle that easily gets from point A to point B. The flying vehicle can reach speeds up to 200 miles per hour, and if they're being hunted, it can also breathe fire to fight off predators. Flying is extremely dangerous, and at any moment, something could go wrong and cause an accident. But statistically speaking, flying is the safest way to travel, so the main characters aren't worried. The kid discovers where the creature's headquarters is located. Obviously, human beings aren't allowed in the facility, so the character sneaks in and tries to remain incognito. Humans fear what they don't understand, and it's only a matter of time before the creature's headquarters is destroyed by mankind. A war breaks out shortly after when the huge creature attacks. In a war, leadership is key and can often be the deciding factor of who wins and who loses. This is a poor example of leadership and the bossy commander has a hard time listening to anything the main characters have to say. Rather than risking everyone else getting hurt, the hero decides to do it by himself. Everyone watches from the sideline as the giant flies towards the hero. When the giant crashes into the rocky terrain, everybody thinks the main character gets killed. He's alive and well though, and when the humans find him, they hug it out. Fast forward a couple of days later, and we get a picture perfect picture of all the creatures living in perfect harmony. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below, and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <gasps> Thank <laughs> you.